All right, guys, it is Monday, New Year's Eve. I am here at the gym, wanted to get something done. Uh, I left the gym on Wednesday and my youngest son got sick, uh, vomiting every 20 minutes for seven hours straight. Nice and exciting, and he had uh, the diarrhea on Thursday. And then on Friday, my oldest son, same thing. Uh, and then Saturday, Sunday, I was extremely sick with the same thing. So um, I feel extremely weak. And I get these, uh, I get this urge to do something really great and exciting, and then I get the urge to take a nap. So um, I'm gonna kind of err towards the side of caution and do as little as possible. Today, my wife told me my, maybe it's a good idea to get out of the house and uh, go do something that maybe energize myself. So um, I made a long list of things that I want to do. Don't think I have the energy to do what I want to do. So I'm just gonna kind of play around for an hour or two and then get back home and then probably come back here on uh, on Wednesday if I can. So let me get moving, let me get the blood flowing and uh, let's see what we can do. Salvage a little bit of this weekend's training. Look at that view. Look at that view though. Just look at that. All right, so if you've been following me a lot lately, you know I've been having some back problems. Matt Laducey suggested to me about a year ago, uh, I need to squeeze my glutes. I was having problems on the yoke when I was picking the yoke up. I was picking it up with my low back instead of utilizing my glutes. Uh, so I began picking it up, squeezing my glutes, back pain went down. Still having back pain, I was doing some exercises inside. Some of those glute bridges that look absolutely ridiculous popped my lower back in a painful way and a good way doing this sled walking a little bit straight legged frying my hamstrings and glute with the uh, acumobility floss around that hamstring set my glutes upper hamstrings on fire back pain lessens so maybe I need to be doing a lot more of that something to watch and learn myself anyway Somebody's close to 300 pounds without water. There's a good bit of water in there. I have no idea what's gonna happen. If I unload this and it makes a big thud, hole in the ground, probably just gonna stay there. Mosquitoes already, no way. Oh, wonderful. It's gonna stay there. <laughs> oh, gotta cheat. But I did it. Oh, that's gonna slide and I'm gonna fall. I'm not gonna take that risk.
Monday right there um, I really wanted to do a lot more today I wanted to do uh, be a lot stronger than I am my back uh, as you can see in those deadlifts uh, it's hurting on the way down having to control it interesting with those figure eight straps on because you've got to control it you're gonna bite the dust you may even bite the bar um, a wife sent me a message she would like me to come home she wants to run to the store so I'm gonna go ahead and run home which is fine I've done quite a bit of stuff today in a short period of time I've got my hands on several different implements my entire body got moving I can go home tonight and do a little bit of ab work bunch of stretching play with the kids and then the final countdown at midnight so this is New Year's Eve from the house of biceps hope you guys have a great one we'll see you guys next year have a good one guys